pain is a part of being human. And so we cannot resolve pain forever. We can hopefully get you out of your current chronic pain, but that doesn't mean that you're never gonna have pain in your life again. What I wanna talk about today is kind of how I think about different types of therapeutics, interventions, approaches to chronic pain, because there's kind of two categories, we'll call it, in regards to the different ways that you can approach your chronic pain. The first way are the things that I do. So they are going to be higher level therapeutics, things like injection therapy. It could be things like surgery in certain circumstances. We could be talking about peptide therapy. We could be talking about even, you know, we could almost classify like massage, chiropractic, some forms of physical therapy into the kind of these higher tier things, meaning not necessarily that they're always higher level in intervention, although sometimes usually they are, but more so that it's something that only you do or you have done to you infrequently. So for example, for injections, I might treat somebody approximately every three to six months. Or if you have surgery, hopefully you're not having surgery too often, you know, every several years. Or if you're seeing the massage therapist, you might be going once a week or things like that. So that's our one category. Those are, these are our higher level therapeutics. They're done less frequently, not on a daily basis. Then you have the things that are done on a daily basis. These are gonna be our lower level therapeutics. These are things like making sure that you are staying hydrated, you are getting enough exercise and movement throughout the day, you are sleeping optimally so that your body can actually heal and repair itself, you're consuming enough calories, you are consuming foods that agree with you, aka non-processed, non-inflammatory foods, those types of things. Uh, things like you have positive social connections around you and you feel loved, you love yourself, you have a good relationship with yourself, and you have a support system around you. Those are things that are daily things, right? Hydration needs to be something daily. Nutrition needs to be something daily. Movement and exercise, as you see I'm out here walking, that needs to be daily. Now, both of these things can resolve pain, meaning both low-level therapeutics and high-level therapeutics can resolve chronic pain. That doesn't mean that everybody's chronic pain is going to be resolved. And sometimes even people who have low level and high level therapeutics never truly have pain relief. And my heart breaks for those people, but that's just the reality. But what I'm saying is that it is possible for your chronic pain to be greatly improved, if not resolved, with either low level therapeutics or high level therapeutics. So that being said, we have to understand that there's a time and a place for both. If you have excruciating back pain and you are unable to exercise because of that, then maybe you need to intervene with some high level therapeutics in order to help get you to a place where you are able to do the daily exercise, the lower level therapeutics and things like that. However, if you're not in a situation where you have to do something in order to be able to exercise as our example here, you're going to probably do much better long term if you focus on the low level therapeutics because that is how you're going to set your body up to heal long term. We have to remember that chronic pain is not just, actually yeah, let me rephrase that. We have to remember that pain is something that is going to be present for our entire lives. Now that does not mean that your current chronic pain that you are suffering from is going to be present in your entire lives, but pain is a part of the human experience. You are going to stub your toe. You, you might have something happen to you where you can't control it, a car accident. Hopefully these, all these things are minor, but pain is a part of being human. And so we cannot resolve pain forever we can hopefully get you out of your current chronic pain, but that doesn't mean that you're never gonna have pain in your life again. So, that being said, when we have this pain come up in the future, the best thing that we can do is be prepared for it before it even happens. That is the low-level therapeutics. That's making sure that you are hydrated, you're nourished, you are well-rested, you have great social connections, you love yourself, you are surrounded by a great support system so that when pain happens, your body is better 
able to manage it when it happens. It's not gonna be great if the only thing that, that you do for your chronic pain is an injection or acupuncture or physical therapy or massage therapy. And then every time you get injured, you have to go back to do that stuff in order to not have that turn into chronic pain. That is not a long-term viable solution. And so I strongly, strongly encourage each and every one of you, even if you end up needing the higher level therapeutic, the lower level therapeutics are a crucial, they are a must, they are essential if you are thinking about this long term. I think about this long term. I want to have it so that if I get injured, if I get hurt, my body is properly set up to the best of my ability. I'm not perfect. I'm going to have cheesecake and cookies and you know, things like that every once in a while. Like I'm not saying we have to be perfect, but taking, doing things, having strategies in place, good habits, not doing a lot of the bad stuff, having all those things in place is gonna be important to me so that when I get injured, I am best able to, given the circumstances, to heal. And that's why I'm encouraging all of you to do that. No matter what, you should always focus on the low level therapeutics and have that form the bulk of what you are doing for your chronic pain. And then if you need to, you can layer in the higher level therapeutics, but don't ever replace the low level therapeutics with the high level therapeutics. We don't want to have a situation where in order to not have pain, you have to have an injection every few months or every few years or whatever it is. All right, see you later.